Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to turn on Steam overlay. Now for this, go to Steam at the top left here. You can see Steam option, go to Steam, then go to settings, go to in-game option. And over here, you can see the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. So if this is off, you can turn it on over here and then go to library, make a right click on the game, go to properties, and over here under the general tab here, you can see enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is off, turn it on and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can even turn off the Steam overlay and then you can launch and check which one is working fine for you. Now, the next step is to verify the game files. This is important. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. After the verification is complete, launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to restart Steam. Simply close Steam, exit, and then launch Steam once again, and then launch the game. If that does not work, run Steam as an administrator. Now for this, you can go to Steam, exit. Once Steam is closed, type in Steam in Windows search box, and then make a right click on Steam, and then click on run as administrator, and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then so open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then go to Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app, click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed over here in this location. So go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps and then open this sandfall binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, open control panel, go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then open this sandfall binaries win64, select this exe file click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now over here, open the sandfall binaries, win64, select this exe file, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. So make a double click. So instead of launching the game from Steam, just launch the game from here. Just make a double click and launch the game. If that does not work, then this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to do not overclock your computer if you have overclocked your computer then set it to default remove the overclock and then if you have any other if you have any overclocking application running like msi afterburner revert tuner you can close all the overclocking application and then launch the game also if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have overlay application like Discord, you can go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. If you're using NVIDIA app, then in that case, you can go to settings and then over here, you will see NVIDIA overlay. You can turn it off and then check. Also, if you see the game, you can go to graphics over here. Now, if you see the game over here and if you see the optimize option in my case it's not there but if you see optimize option you can optimize the game from here and then check also uh, you can close 
any other overlay application if it's running close it and then check next step is to rename the save game files when you do so you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first of the save game files now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder sandfall folder so just create a backup copy this folder and then maybe create a backup you can paste it to the desktop now once you have a backup created now you can just make a right click and then you can rename it or you can delete this folder so i will just rename it rename the game folder and then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uh, uninstall the current graphic card driver installed in your computer then restart your computer and then go to amd website and install the latest graphic card driver select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on add desktop app and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game select over here high performance you will see your graphic card over here now again click on add desktop app and this folder is important open sandfall binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add now scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working install visual c++ file for this copy this link let the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website install these video visual visual studio files here you can see the exe file x86 and x64 you have to install both so click on x86 file and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button hit install click on yes to allow now download this x64 file as well now run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once both are installed then you can close these windows and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte 
So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 5, 5, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to the Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller sometimes we have additional controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have under voltage computer remove the under volt and then check now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.